In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between policy-based mode and profile-based mode when building policies on a FortiGate. So stay tuned. This video was requested by one of our viewers. I get asked this a lot, so when the comments started filling in with folks wanting to know the basics on this, I figured it was time. There are two types of next generation firewall methodologies available on a FortiGate. One of those versions is profile based, the other version is policy based. There are pros and cons to each one of these, which we'll discuss in this video. The first one we're going to cover is the profile based method. Profile mode is the original style that we have all come to know and love on FortiGate devices. You create a security profile that meets your needs, and once you have it fine tuned, you apply it to your standard firewall policy. This method works and enables you to have policies that do not have layer 7 functionality or even threat management on them, which means you can get more performance out of your device because you're only doing higher level inspection on the traffic you wish to. The advantages of this method are simple. Potential speed increases because you're not using higher level inspection and UTM on policies that don't necessarily need it. and you don't have to overhaul your existing firewall policy if you're coming from a device that uses the legacy mode of source, destination, and port. It is relatively easy to understand as well. The cons of this method though are it's 2020 and you almost certainly need layer 7 visibility across all traffic thanks to the types of persistent threats that are in the wild today. You can't get the granularity on the traffic that you can if you were using policy based mode. The next mode available on a FortiGate is the policy based mode. Policy based is the newer style way of doing things and the great thing about policy based mode is the fact that you can now use applications, URL categories and more as qualifiers for your policy. And that gives you a greater level of control and granularity without having to come up with a whole bunch of different separate security profiles. There are some things that you must know though when utilizing policy based mode. For instance, central NAT is always enabled. You must use central NAT for your traffic flows. This will be easy to follow if you have any experience with a Palo Alto firewall, but if you don't, it's still fairly intuitive. You have a separate section for pre-match rules to exist, and that's where you actually execute your SSL inspection and your user authentication style policies. I personally learned next generation firewall principles on Palo Alto devices when I was assisting with the conversion of some big enterprises over to PAN from Cisco's FWSM modules. So the policy based method is the one I learned on originally and to be honest with you it's the one I prefer. I prefer policy based method because it gives me the ability to have specific policies without having to get down in the dirt with several different security profiles but each one of these methods has their pros and cons. And it usually ends up being personal preference that is tied closely to the deployment of the device or the engineer that's managing it. If you like videos like this and you'd like to see more like it, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the notify bell. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button so other folks with the same question can find this video easily. Thank you.